Hello friends, welcome back to another video from Somos Biology and in this series we are talking about antibiotic mechanism of action and different antibiotics use their side effects and so many different details. So today's video is all about amoxicillin antibiotic. What is amoxicillin and what are the different use of amoxicillin antibiotic, general properties of amoxicillin and amoxicillin antibiotic uses and amoxicillin mechanism of action. So stay tuned and watch the video completely. So let's first start talking about general properties of amoxicillin. It's a semi-synthetic type of penicillin. Penicillin belongs to beta-lactam kind of antibiotic which contains a beta-lactam ring which binds to specific beta-lactam binding protein and that is going to block the transpeptidase activity for the peptidoglycan synthesis of gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria. So they're active against broad spectrum of Antibiotic. So it's a broad, broad spectrum antibiotic. It's effective against beta lactamase negative uh, strains like Streptococcus species. On the other hand, it inhibits one or more enzymes, often referred to as penicillin binding proteins (PBPs) in the biosynthetic pathway of bacterial peptidoglycan, which I just mentioned. And amoxicillin is an antibiotic used to treat middle ear infections, strep throat uh, caused by Streptococcus uh, by pneumonia. Uh, it can prevent pneumonia by streptococcus pneumonia skin infections urinary tract infections so these are the common uh, kind of infection against which am amoxicillin is used and it is taken by mouth and very less commonly by injection but mostly taken by mouth what are the classification uh, as i said it belongs to beta lactam type of antibiotics because it carries a beta lactam beta lactam ring in it okay that is the feature of this kind of antibiotics. Mechanism of action, as I already mentioned, it competes with transpeptidase to block the transpeptidation of peptidoglycan layer. And we know peptidoglycan layer is uh, the structure that builds the cell wall of bacteria. So it is thicker in uh, gram positive bacteria and little thin in gram negative bacteria. So beta lactam antibiotics and, and what they do actually, they bind to PBP okay penicillin binding protein and it inhibits cross-linking of peptidoglycan layer that causes cell wall deficiency in the bacteria and bacterial cell undergoes lysis and there is a bactericidal effect sidal means killing of the bacterial cell okay so bacterial cell dies so basically you can see that there are different structural component of peptidoglycan wall and that is known as nam and nag in acetyl muramic acid in acetyl glucosamine and both of them and among them basically NAM has this polypeptide sequences from the opposite ends connecting together. This is a transpeptidation reaction required. This is where the PBP protein which is known as transpeptidase which is going to catalyze this reaction. But amoxicillin in red color here is going to prevent the function of PBP. Okay, inhibits the function of PBP. So as a result, no cross-linking between NAM subunits and as a result, the structure of peptidoglycan is destabilized so the cell wall of bacteria is degraded and that results in the bactericidal effect what are the clinical uses for amoxicillin antibiotic it is used to treat bacterial infections as i mentioned earlier basically it's used uh, quite often for pneumonia staphylococcus and streptococcus infections and also used in dental abscesses it can also be used uh, together with other antibiotics uh, to treat stomach ulcers because generally stomach ulcers or gastric ulcers are generally treated with multiple drugs together two to three drugs together as a combination therapy and uh, amoxicillin can be used as one of that drug of choice for treating stomach ulcer often prescribed for children to treat ear infection and chest infection basically for the ear infection the middle ear infections basically where uh, other antibodies generally don't work but amoxicillin works really well really good so related to chest congestion infection related to the upper respiratory tract related to the middle ear this kind of infection are the places where amoxicillin can be used and amoxicillin's uh, antibiotics are used uh, predominantly in all these infections but what are the side effects it's a well tolerated antibiotic basically there will be very limited side effects but there are some that is related to abdominal discomfort stomach cramps back leg and stomach pain black tarry stool blistering, peeling or loosening of the skin which is rare and bloating is associated with the abdominal discomfort there, blood in the urine very very rare also and blood uh, and bloody nose that is also uh, rare, chest pain, angina related to uh, kind of sy symptoms like angina. So these are the side effects 
but mostly side effects are related and restricted to the abdominal discomfort stomach cramps tenderness pain uh, bloating and black and tarry stool so these are <clears throat> the side effects so although if we compare the side effects and the array of events where we can use amoxicillin antibiotic it's clearly a winner so use amoxicillin antibiotics in all these cases so that's all about the amoxicillin antibiotic and the role of amoxicillin antibiotic in treating different infections we have talked about amoxicillin antibiotic general properties amoxicillin antibiotic use amoxicillin mechanism of action if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and colleagues and subscribe to this channel to get more and more videos like that in future thank you bye